July 16, 2005, history was made. In a fun of about eight people, maybe even ten, the Wombat Grandma played their, played very, first show. their very first show. It was a show of epic proportions. Witnesses say the musician capability of both musicians, Peter and Jones, was like no other. That night was special. They played their instruments like Heart of Gold, like none other, like a spaceship on a mission to Mars. That night will be remembered. Peter, a young guy, playing guitar, playing guitar. Jones, a handsome drinker, playing drums, Jazz. playing the drums, Jazz. playing the and drums. Peter Hampton, <laughs> Peter Hampton <laughs> guitar. That was the only show Wombat Grandma ever played. They played with passion and heart, said Ed from U2. They signed a million dollar contract with WOW Records, only later to find out that it was fake. It was just the media making fun of them and their hair. The boys took it rough as Peter couldn't take the laughs and became a stay-at-home mom. He then started playing with fire. After a rough breakup with then-girlfriend Rose Jordan, Jones started drinking heavy. Later on, Peter was caught burning down a local pet shelter. He tried to run from the cops, but tripped and broke his neck. In about five places. You see, after Jones got out of rehab, he noticed the band was broke up. See, Jones stayed so drunk before, he didn't even realize the difference. So there you have it. The story of an epic band. One band that stood for one thing, and that was rock and roll. Playing music, playing shows, one night, July 16, 2005, the Wombat Grandma landed.